The theory behind infrared photochemical breath testing is simple. And this slideshow, put together by Elmer H. Young, a Georgia DUI defense attorney, explains how the Intoxilizer 5000 Model 68 breath alcohol analysis machine works. Essentially, the Intoxilizer 5000 breath test machine measures light. What happens is you take a known amount of light and you shine it through a sample chamber. When the machine is first queued up to measure a subject sample, the first thing that happens is a blank sample is passed through. That blank sample should contain no alcohol whatsoever and the measurement should read 0, 0.00 because there isn't any alcohol in it. After that, the subject blows into the machine and then the light is shined through again. Now we have the baseline measurement with no alcohol and at this point when the light is shined through, if there are molecules of alcohol bouncing around in that chamber, the microscopic molecules of alcohol deflect some of the light and the computer at the other end of the sample chamber measures the amount of light that got through with the alcohol sample in there and does some calculations. Because we know a baseline measurement for a sample without alcohol and then one with, the machine can do some simple math. There are several substances, in fact there are many substances that can mimic alcohol and can deflect infrared light at the wavelength being shined through. Because of this, the Intoxilizer 5000 sends the light through a filter wheel that filters out some common known interference. This does not mean that all interference are filtered out. It just means that five known ones that are common are. Once the sensor at the other end of the sample chamber receives the light data, it's passed through to a microprocessor, which does the calculations. Once the microprocessor does the calculations, it produces a result that reads in terms of blood alcohol measurement. As you can see here, this is a diagram of the internal workings of the Intoxilizer 5000 machine provided by Mr. Young. It goes through and shows you what each of the elements are from the start, number one at the left, to the finish, number six on the right, where it gets to the microprocessor. 